Hey everybody, got a request to do a how to install Neverwinter Nights mods. Uh, this is specific, specifically, sorry, for Neverwinter Nights 1, but it does work with Neverwinter Nights 2 as well. Uh, now you can't do files from Neverwinter Nights 1 to the second game because they just don't work. Uh, they're not com backwards compatible or anything, so just keep that in mind. But um, the main folders we're going to be concerned with here, this is the Neverwinter Nights main folder. Uh, it'll, yours will look something like this, but um, I mean, I've got a bunch of mods and stuff in here, so uh, disregard a lot of this stuff. But keep in mind these folders here. Now, the ones that are going to be big are the ERF, HAK, Modules, Music, Override, Portraits, and TLK, which is right there. And so let's start with the ERF and the HAK. Now, this is the HAK folder. And uh, it's where all your hack packs go. Uh, at least that's what they call them, they're hack packs. This is where the mod files are stored. So you will need these. Uh, like, put them in your HAK folder whenever something comes with a module or whenever something says it's required for a module. Uh, specifically, you're going to need to, uh, probably the CEP, the Community Expansion Pack, which uh, comes with an installer, so you shouldn't have to worry too much about that. Um, as for ERF files, I'm not exactly sure what ERFs do. I think they're uh, temp templates or something like that. But um, either that or they're uh, models for placeables. I can't remember exactly what. I think probably placeables. But um, you need to put those in your ERF folder. They're .erf files. Excuse me. As for other things, the main folder we're going to be concerned with is modules. Now. My WinAmp picks up these as music files because there's a .mod um, extension for music files. But um, .mod files, when you're concerned with Neverwinter Nights, are modules. Uh, the modules themselves, where all the maps are made and all that kind of stuff is stored. So, those all go in your modules folder. Make sure you've got that down. Now, if you open it up, you'll see already... There's stuff like the Contest of Champions, Goblins vs. Kobolds, uh, House of Doors, Therapy Rats Yar, all that kind of stuff. And so that gives you a good idea of what to, where to put those modules. Um, as for other things, your music folder, you need to have them as .bmus, which is basically a Bioware music extension kind of thing. And you need to have them put in your music folder. Now... .bmus are essentially just renamed mp3s, but it's not quite as simple as that. Um, they have different bit rates and stuff that you need to really pay attention to. Um, so you're best off just getting stuff off the NWN vault or wherever you're getting Neverwinter Nights uh, mods from. And whenever you get music files, they all go in your music folder usually. Um, they're .bmus, you can't use mp3s. Now there is a tool online where you can convert your music to play in Neverwinter Nights. Uh, it's called mp3 to bmu. And uh, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. It just depends on the bitrate of the uh, files you're trying to convert and everything. Uh, as for other things, uh, the portraits folder you have to create. Uh, you just make a folder, name it portraits. P-O-R-T-R-A-I-T-S. Portraits. And you put all your portrait files in there. The, they are usually, well not usually, they are all Targas, uh, .tgas. And so make sure you put all your portraits in your portraits folder. They should automatically go ahead and work. So you shouldn't have to worry too much about those. Uh, but they will only work for player characters. They won't work for uh, stuff in the tool set unless you actually make a hack pack for it. Cause it's some weird little thing. And... Uh, now for the end of the easy stuff here, the uh, .tlk files all go in the .tlk folder. It's that simple. You need to you need to put these in here because they're basically tables, I believe. Um, and so if you really need to, uh, if you have a .tlk file, you need to put it in there. As for other files that you'll get, I'll, some of them will go in your overrides folder. Now, uh, what these will do are they basically replace whatever you've got in normal Neverwinter Nights. And they, they you'll see .2DA files come in here. Those are basically database table files that you'll, you will need for these things to work. Um, and then you'll see mostly like Targas or MDLs, which are model files. And um, those go in your override folder. Now, be warned, they do replace things in base Neverwinter Nights. 
So you need to pay attention to what you're putting in here. And if something stops working all of a sudden, then you probably put something in the override folder that's messing something up. So be very careful with the override stuff unless you, uh, you're like me and you know what you're doing. Now, most of the mods that go in the override folder are harmless. There's stuff like uh, icon replacers, or over here you see the hand models. That Those are the open hands instead of the blocks that you see normally. So, I mean, it, that, that kind of stuff is what goes in the override folder. It's usually uh, just simple image files and that sort of, sort of thing. So, um, just be careful what you're putting in the overrides folder. But other than that, it's fairly straightforward. And that's really all you need to know when it comes to um, making your, uh, well, putting your mods into Neverwinter Nights. Uh, this local vault and DM vault thing, those are for your characters, so, uh, if you need to export characters or something like that, just, uh, fool around with the files in there and move them around. But, um, that's pretty much it. It's a fairly straightforward mod process. Uh, I, I don't know why people would find it so confusing, but, um, it's really not that difficult, so it, there you go, folks. If that, uh, helps you out, then, uh, Glad that I could help you, but if not, then, well, I don't know why you watched it, but anyway. Um, again, though, uh, this was requested, so I uh, hope this helps.